what's going on youtube welcome back to another video and before we jump in today's video you should have know what you should have been did like comment and subscribe man we're trying to save the world so make sure you hit that post notification bell so you don't miss whenever i upload another video now look as you can see by today's title we're going to be talking about how to know you're close to a relapse how to know you're about to fall into the rabbit hole once again. All right. And this is something that I was thinking heavy about. This is something that I had to come in realizations about because, you know, I can just tell from my past experiences and what I've learned on my SR journey that uh, just doing this one thing, this is how you can consciously pick up on the fact that your life is spiraling down. All right. So the one thing, the way to know that you're about to fall into a relapse is when you start to justify why you should be doing something. Like, let's say you quit smoking weed, right? And then all of a sudden, one day you wake up and you're like, oh, I'm trying to keep a balance. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to be this perfect person. You know, when you start, when you start, when you start saying things that a righteous person wouldn't say, when you start to contradict things that you stood firm on, that's when you know you're about to relapse on something. And I remember a few months ago for me, this is this is how this is how I kind of fell back into the rabbit hole because I was telling myself, you know, life is a polarity. You know, we're not meant to be perfect. You know, like I, I just kept trying to justify why I should go back into my old ways. You know, I noticed that life was getting better and better. And I guess you can say when, when you're only experiencing good, I guess you can say life kind of gets boring, but why wouldn't you want to keep experiencing good? Why would you want to go back to your old ways and experience, you know, trauma, headaches, you know, long, um, terrible nights, just feeling down, anxiety, depression? Why would you want to go back to feeling those things? Like, I remember when I was starting to spiral down, like I was telling myself, like this was when I was smoking weed. I knew I was spiraling down when I kept telling myself like, oh, one, one spliff won't hurt. You know what I'm saying? I kept telling, I kept trying to justify why I should go back to smoking when I know it wasn't good for me in the first place. You know, I, and, and last year, a few months ago, you know, I, I kept justifying to myself, oh, one spliff won't hurt. You know, I'm trying to keep a balance in my life. You know, when my life was going so good, I wanted, I'm talking about keeping a balance, you know, good and bad. You know, like, why why don't you want your life to continue to be good? You know, why do you want to go back to your own vomit, bro? You know, I was telling myself, like, oh, I'm going to just go back and everything is still going to be the same. Little do I, little did I know my life was only spiraling. My, my, my journey was only spiraling down. It was going to lead to one, the one and only thing, which was a relapse. You know, and this is when I started smoking again, you know, and literally a few months later, I relapsed. So this is why I'm trying to tell you, brothers, man, like, don't go back to your own vomit because that's you. That's you just going. That's just you going back on your word. That's just you stepping back on your journey, bro. You know what I'm saying? Don't play yourself out here, fellas. Don't play yourself, man. When you start to kind of backtrack on your words. When you when you when you kind of like take it eat when you start to like take your foot off the the pedal when you're like oh I'm gonna just live my life I'm gonna just I'm gonna just live my life how I want to live my life when you start to take matters into your own hands that's when you can kind of pick up on the fact that you're about to relapse because like I was saying for me a few months ago I was telling myself you know I'm not trying to live I'm not trying I'm gonna I'm gonna start switching up how I live I was trying to tell myself basically it's okay to just just do other things as well. You know, and I'm not saying that you shouldn't like um do things that you feel is right, but you know, you can kind of tell the difference when 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 your lower self is trying to get you to do something like your ego compared to your higher self. Your higher self would never stray you away. The most high God would never stray you away. Your, your, your ego is what's going to want to stray you away and make you feel like what you're doing is right. Whole time, you're just spiraling down. And this could go for anything, man. Like, 
you know, let's say you you was eat, you you stopped eating junk food, right? And now you're trying to justify as to why you should go back to eating junk food. You get what I'm saying? Like you probably gonna be like, oh, I've been eating healthy for five months, so I'm gonna just switch it up. I'm gonna just switch my diet up. You know that that's how you know you're spiraling down because at at that point it's kind of like portals are being opened. That's making you make these decisions. That's making you think like this. Because like I said, if you're a righteous person on a righteous walk, you're not going to want to 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 go against your word. You're not going to want to do unrighteous things. You know what I'm saying? So when you, when you start feeling yourself kind of going back or backtracking on the things that you, you stood firm in believing, when you feel yourself just going backtrack, you know, you start taking it easier on yourself. You probably start eating junk food again. You probably start, um, what is it? You probably start edging. You know, these are all things that's, these are all things that's going to, you can easily pick up on to know that you're about to relapse. I remember reading this comment one time and this guy was like, oh, when you go cold turkey, when you go cold turkey on Seaver Attention, you got to edge because you can't just go cold turkey. I'm like, bro, what? Bro, what are, you, what are you talking about, bro? What are you talking about? When you edge, that's only going to lead to a relapse. I hope you know that. So what what do you mean when you when you go cold turkey on Seaver Attention, it's, it's okay to edge? That means you're justifying the action of, of edging. You're trying to you're trying to um, put your points out there as to why edging is good when it's not good. You're only going to is on is only going to lead to your to your demise. You're only going to relapse. So there's nothing good that you can get out of edging, you know. So that's how you know you're about to that's how you know you're on a downfall. That's how you know you're about to spiral down. You know, when you start entertaining females again. You probably you probably get lonely at nights and you go on Instagram and you start DMing random female just because just because you feel like you're on retention and you you're not getting as much attraction as you feel like you deserve. Oh, now you taking matters into your own hands. You going out DMing these random females who don't even care about you. You know, this is these are just the little things to know you're spiraling down, brother. So don't get deceived out here. Don't let your own thoughts don't let your own mind get in the way of where you're heading. All right, because just that one mistake, just that one simple mistake will just crumble everything. It's going to be a domino effect. You know, just that one simple mistake, bro. Just from you going back to your old ways, you know, maybe watching the hub again, just from you just doing this one thing will just lead to everything just downfalling. So that that's how you know you're about to relapse. All right. When you feel like when you feel like you want to take your life in, in your own hands, when you're not leading on the most high's understanding, when you're not when you're not walking by the when you're not walking with the most high, that's how you know your life is about to spiral down. Because you feel like you know everything. You you feel like you know what's best for you. When, when the most high is who truly, truly knows who you are and what you're going through on a day-to-day -day basis. So only he knows what's best for you. You get what I'm saying? So don't let, don't let your own, don't be deceived by even your own self. You know, don't trust this flesh, man. This, this flesh will lead you astray. Whenever you feel yourself kind of backtracking on what you believed in, whenever you feel yourself kind of going back and taking back your words, Bro, don't be surprised if you relapse a day, a week, a month later. All right, just humble yourself and keep the most high God first, man. I promise you. I promise you, man. We all going to fall short at some point in our journey. But the most high will never leave, lead you astray, brothers. So that was my video for today. I hope you guys took something valuable from this video. If so, drop a like, comment down below, share the video, and subscribe if you're new. And listen, man, I'll catch y'all in the next one, and I'm out.